Universal today. I was bored at home. I'm like, you know what? I miss Universal. I'm going to go, even though it looks crappy outside and it's most likely going to rain all day. I'm going to toughen out and I'm going to be here. <laughs> what type of adventure can we get into today? Let's go. In Jaws 117 today. Got to remember that. Oof, got to love when the escalators are off. Well, uh, get to stepping. Womp womp, that sky doesn't look promising. Oh, hi, Bride. Look at that dark sky on the horizons. Oh, oh Lord. Well, I was gonna go to Islands of Adventure to ride Velocicoaster, but I just saw a couple of lightning strikes, which means all outdoor rides are now closed. But it's okay, going to Universal side. One thing I love about rainy weather approaching, there is a breeze and it's beautiful outside. No humidity. <laughs> wow, it's pretty busy. Oh, what's up, Marilyn? Well, I've been severely slacking getting the uh, Universal Orlando annual pass holder buttons. Like, I always forget about them, I always do. So I'm gonna make it a point to get it every month now. So I'm gonna go to the pass holder lounge uh, and get this month's button, so let's go. Inside the pass holder lounge, they got this really cool Jurassic World Velocicoaster annual pass holder shirt, UOAP, which sells for $25. Cute. Right, so do we have some new masks here? Huh. Look at that. Click red, white, and blue, you know, because Fourth of July is coming up, so gotta be festive universal. I like it. Now it's starting to rain. Thank God I'm in the pass holder lounge. Okay, so I got this month's button and it's super cute. thing is just a it's just a red button because it's the red button you don't push the red button on men in black and this is what's featured for this month which is super cute and on the back it has 999999 because obviously it's the highest score you can get and then it says okay hot shots time to see what you're made of oh and this red button don't even think of pushing it cute universal now it is added to my lanyard Looks like I'm stuck here for a little bit. I hope the Sierra Halloween Horror Nights will see pumpkins in the trees. That was perfect timing, Mother Nature. Perfect timing. Since it's starting to rain even more, let's go into the tribute store. I saw this little hidden Easter egg, which is great. In the background, they're watching Jaws. Oh, neat. I haven't seen this sweatshirt before. It's really light and thin. It's Jurassic World and on the back. This is the Velocicoaster on there. Very tempting. And it goes for $57. Holy crap. It's like it was meant for me. If you didn't know, my name is, my name is Christopher. Look at that, they even got themed candles. Oh man, let's smell them. Okay, so the first one is a churro. It literally smells like Christmas in candle form. It's very cinnamony, very churro-like, uh, approved. All right, for the next one, we got Sorna Redwoods. All right. It does smell like the outdoors. It smells like pine, so not my favorite, but still enjoyable. All right, now this one is called Hadrosaur Cove. If you don't get the reference, it's from uh, Jurassic Park, uh, the ride. 
you know, we're supposed to go to Hadrosaur Cove, but we always miss it because we go into the uh, Raptor Paddock and all that. So let's, let's try it. Oh, soap. Literally smells like laundry detergent soap. Not my favorite. All right, the next one is Triceratops Trail. All right. Literally smells like laundry detergent. It's definitely better than the Hadford Cove, I'll give you that. All right, the next one is East Dock. All right, let's try it. Literally tastes, taste, literally smells like soap. Yeah, literally smells like soap. All right, and the last one is Pack Hunt. All right, I hope this one's good. Oh. Oh, it smells like a campfire. You know what, it, it, it smells like Halloween Horror Nights a little bit. Oh, I approve. So this one is my favorite and also the churro. Oh, it smells so good. And by the way, they all sell for $16.95. All right, I really like this shirt. It's very light, but it's long sleeve. And in Orlando, you just don't need long sleeve. It's so cute. And it goes for $35. And I also love the fact that it's, it's very light and it also has a hood. Oh, I just wish it wasn't long sleeve. I love this shirt. It's lime green and it has the claw marks. And it goes for $27. And it's the same print as they um as the tank top that I have, but I really love this car. Oh, it's cute. Very, very cool photo op because the raptor reflects off the light. Very Jurassic Park you see. Oh, this is awesome. Hey guys, they have a Mr. DNA fanny pack. Sells for $26. Oh, this might be mine. So I had this at the media event, the Jurassic World Dig and Jar, and they were delicious. And now this gentleman is telling me there it's buy one, get one free. Oh, tempting. I caved and I got them. All right. Um, so I really want this. <laughs> this is amazing. Super cute. So as a lot of you know, I am, uh, I live for Halloween. I live for horror, I love everything Halloween. But goddamn, when Universal does their Christmas stuff, it, it puts me right in the feels. I mean, like, it's just, it's so festive and it's so jolly. Every time I see the Grinch, God, I get into the Christmas spirit. Universal, what have you done to me? But I will say though, that's not good. <laughs> but I will say this though, since Universal has two Christmas stores that are open 365 days a year, they need Halloween stores that are open 365 days a year. Come on, Universal. All right, so I went to the Confisco Cafe and got the annual pass holder exclusive drink that they have called the Raptor Claw. And ooh, it is a pretty blue. All right, so it has blue curacao in it. It has uh, black cherry white claw and pineapple juice. Now, I am not a fan of uh, white claw, but I'm willing to try anything once and it's Jurassic Park themed, so I'm gonna try it. So here we go. That is delicious. That is really good. That is mixed perfectly. It's very, it's very fruity. It's not really that sweet, which I'm very surprised at, but um, 
Oh, this is really good, y'all. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and it's uh, 1350. Um, it's pretty pricey of a drink, but it's theme park. What do you expect? But God, it's so good. Oh yeah. Well, it's starting to rain harder. It's putting a damper on the day. So I'm gonna head out. So today, Universal actually just announced that this new quick service place called Bend the Bow will be opening tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, June 15th, uh, for the very first time. This, of course, took over the uh, sushi quick service place um, that's on top of the movie theater that's right next to the Moe's, Panda Express, and Burger King. Um, I love Bao, so I think this is a great addition. It's very nice, very colorful. Looks like they have the menu over here. Check it out. All right, so you get two bow for $12. For $4.49, you can add an additional bow. A little bit on the price side, but you know, it is a theme park price. It's got sake, beer, wine, soda, tea, and water. So these are the bows right here. Fusion bow, they've got kimchi, FC, pork belly, duck, beef brisket. They have a veggie, shrimp, and crab cake. That sounds delicious. So please pause the video so you can get a good description. So yeah, it's been on the pricey side because literally down the street, you know, in downtown Orlando on Mills, there's a place called King Bao. And you can get three bows plus a drink for $9. And in here it's two bows for $12. So if you're really in the mood for bow, definitely come here. I mean, obviously I'm gonna try it when it opens, but, uh, warning y'all it's theme park prices so expensive very very pricey but it's going to be a great addition to uh city walk and i hope they expand more i hope they expand more get more cuisine out there because uh city walk needs it definitely i'm all wet it was a very rainy day but i still had a blast Thank you guys so much for joining me on this very, very wet adventure. If you like this video, please like it down below and uh, please subscribe for more content. All right, until next time, insiders, stay dry.